Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll show you how to use Oxygen's gallery element. So first I'll add a section to my page, and then to add a gallery, go to Add Helpers Gallery. Gallery will display a gallery of images with various layout and styling options for those images. So to set the images that will be included in my gallery, go to Image IDs and then click Browse. This will open the WordPress Media Library and then you can click images you wish to include in the gallery and click Create a New Gallery. You'll now be given the option to caption the images if you want. This is an optional step. I'm going to caption some of them so you can see what it looks like in the gallery with a caption. Okay, so four of the images are captioned, four are not. Insert gallery. And now we get an image grid of the images. And the images with captions get this caption appearing on hover. Uh, now let's go over the gallery settings. So first one is link images. By default, that's yes. And that is, can you click this image to open the full size image? And then the next setting is add light box. So if that's no, clicking the image will actually open the image file itself. If it's yes, the image will be displayed in a light box. The light box doesn't appear in Oxygen, but if I save this page and we take a look on the front end, you can see the light box effect. So you get this nice light box. You can scroll through the gallery with the arrow keys, use the arrow buttons here, click outside of the gallery to close it, zoom in. If the image is bigger than the screen, you can drag it around to see, etc. So very nice gallery that's powered by Photo Swipe. Now, in terms of the gallery settings, first we have layout. You can choose a flex layout, which displays the images in a grid, or you can choose a masonry layout, which displays the images stacked like this. You can control the number of images per row, and you can control the amount of space around an image. Here is a flex layout. And you'll notice that it auto stretches the images to fill up the available space in the row. So for example, I have eight images here, three per row. So you get one, two, three per row, one, two, three in this row, and then only two in images here, but it stretches them out. Then for responsive, you can set an image minimum width. So this obviously is not what we want. We'd like these to start stacking vertically. So we can set the image minimum width to something like uh, 300 pixels. And now if the images are gonna be less than 300 pixels, they'll be wide. And the smaller the screen, the more the images will stack vertically. Okay, those are the layout options. Then we have caption styling options. So you can choose whether to show captions or not. We choose no, mousing over, no caption. Choose yes, you see the caption. Choose the color of the caption text and the color of the caption background. So by default, it's a semi-transparent black. You could make it more transparent. You could set the color like that. And you can choose to show captions only on hover. That's yes by default. Or you can choose no, and then the captions will always display. You can also choose to hide the captions on certain devices. For example, hide captions below a certain screen width. Let's go ahead and make these captions look good again. So let's go with semi-transparent black, show only on hover. Then we have our hover styles. So we have the default image opacity, which we could set to something like 0.8 or 0.5, and then hover image opacity. So 0.5 means semi-transparent, and then on hover, the image fades in. 0.5 is too low. I think 0.8 is a better idea. And sometimes you have to reset the hover image opacity for the, the style to actually take effect there. Let's set this to a black background. It'll look a little better. 
and then the images kind of fade in when you mouse over. You also have the transition duration option. Let's choose 0.5 seconds. Then when you mouse over, the images fade in slowly. So let's take a look at that on the front end with a light box. All right, there is our completed image gallery. So that is how to use the gallery element in Oxygen to create beautiful image galleries.